What's up design family and welcome back to another episode of Fit Design TV. So glad to have you back on the channel. On today's episode, we'll be looking at the must have characteristics that are the hallmark of a quality dress sock. The dress sock is such an important part of the menswear wardrobe, one that is underrepresented and honestly, picking a dress sock with the wrong texture, color, or even length can be a surefire way to completely destroy any well put together outfit you're wearing. On today's episode, I'll run you through my top characteristics. These are the non-negotiables that a dress sock must have. That way, you'll invest your money in the right pair going forward and you're going to be able to give your outfit that special edge and make it feel that much more well put together. What's up design family and welcome to Fit Design TV. So glad to have you here. On this channel, we discuss all things sports, fashion, graphic design, manufacturing, and technology. We'll discuss key topics, answer pressing questions, and provide actionable steps on starting your own product line. If you're interested in any of the above topics, stick around. You're in for a good one. Number one, and this is probably the most important and the biggest non-negotiable on my specific list, is a dress sock should be over the calf. That means when it comes to its length, it's reaching just underneath the kneecap and just over the thickest part of your calf. Why is that? The answer is simple. When you're going for a ankle length or a mid-calf type of sock, it's going to slip down over the course of the day. This just looks unruly, unsightly, and it makes you look extremely sloppy. And it just creates a situation where you're continuously having to reach down, fix your socks. Believe me, I've been there and I've done that. When it comes to a good dress sock, this is the absolute minimum requirement. Make sure you're going for an over the calf. It's going to help to maintain the streamlined look of your socks. It's not gonna let them bunch up. And ultimately it's gonna create that seamless transition between your pants and your shoes. Number two on our list is always opt for socks that are made out of 100% natural fibers. These types of fibers can be things like cotton, you can even go for the mercernized kind, you can go for wool, you can go for silk, and you can even go for cashmere, depending on your budget. The reason you want to go for a 100% natural fiber sock is simple. You want them to retain their breathability and their moisture wicking ability. Also, using natural fibers is typically an indicator of a higher quality sock. Those types of yarns and fibers are more expensive and typically more expensive fibers are going to be made in a higher quality product. So going for those natural fiber socks is going to be your best bet. And it's just going to be a lot more comfortable for you during the day. And it's gonna be something you gravitate towards wearing day in, day out, especially when it comes to a user experience standpoint. Number three is you want to opt for socks that are quite thin. You want them to be durable yet thin. Why is this? Well, socks serve a couple purposes. Yes, you want your socks to keep you warm and a good quality sock, regardless of how thin it is, will do a great job at actually helping to keep you warm long-term. A thicker sock may not necessarily do that at the same time. Typically, your dress shoes are going to be well fitted against your feet. So as your sock is acting as a barrier between your foot and your shoe, you want to make sure that you're not adding any additional thickness or you're minimizing the additional thickness, especially if you have an already well fitted shoe. Adding that extra thickness can make your shoes fit extremely uncomfortably and in some cases can completely make them not fit altogether. Lastly, the thinness and that user experience is a hallmark of quality, of elegance. Having those silky smooth, thin socks is just going to be a more comfortable experience all around. You're going to be able to get them on and off much easier and you're going to have a much better user experience, especially when it comes to how they look underneath your trousers. Most high quality suit trousers are going to be a sort of medium weight wool or 100% wool blend. They typically take on silhouettes very well. So what happens is this, if you have a thicker sock, especially an over the calf sock, and it's so thick, you're going to notice that ridge or the outline of the sock up against the calf of your trousers. So this is not something you want or something that's desirable and a thicker sock will make that issue much, much more visible. Number four on our list, and this is something that you can immediately tell just by looking at the sock. All quality dress socks are typically going to feature a gambietto. This is characterized by a two to three inch tall ring of a two by two rib construction seen at the top of the actual sock. So why is this? When it comes to these socks, getting in and out of them, especially a sock that is of higher quality is going to be a super easy experience. The two by two ring that you see at the top of the sock 
allows you to stretch the opening of the sock, get your foot inside, and then compress the opening back. So it's giving you the user friendliness of being able to get in and out of the sock easily without sacrificing any of the compression and the actual anti-slip at the top of the sock. Number five on our list is make sure that you're buying a dress sock from a maker that offers more than three sizes. Most department store socks are going to come in a variety of small, medium, and large. And while this is a decent option for most people, it will never achieve the perfect fit required by a quality dress sock. The small, medium, and large just don't have enough variance and specificity to make sure that they're hitting the mark completely. Either they're too short or they're too long or they have too much fabric at the bottom and all of this just leads to a sloppy and unkempt appearance. So instead, make sure you're going for a maker of socks that's going to give you at least four to five different sizes. That way you can get a bespoke-like fitting every single time. Number six, and this is the last but definitely not least, is good quality dress socks are going to feature what is known as hand linking at the toe seam. The toe seam is that seam you see at the edge of your sock. Typically this seals or it completely kind of seals the entire sock pattern altogether. 99% of socks that we see on the market are made using cylindrical knitting machines that start at the top and then knit the sock all the way down. Once that process is done, a good quality maker will remove that sock and apply it onto a hand linking machine. This handling machine is sort of an extra step that is meant to seal in the entirety of the sock and just kind of retain the shape and durability of the sock long term. This is definitely a hallmark of good quality socks and one that you should always look out for. You can easily tell a hand linked sock, especially at the toe seam, just by looking at it. And again, this is just an indicator that the manufacturer has gone the extra step to make sure that they're finishing their socks in the right way. Well guys, that's pretty much it. That's been my top must have characteristics of any quality dress sock, honestly use these as non-negotiables because if you're negotiating on any of the points i guarantee you you're not going to be satisfied with your purchase long term so if you guys want to see other episodes like this where we go through menswear style tips and tricks consider subscribing to our channel we put, we've also put out great content regarding production manufacturing and a bunch of other tips and tricks that you'll need to get your personal fashion brand up and running guys thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of fit design tv until next week's episode stay awesome